Now you know the truth. It was my father's act of greed that brought this misfortune upon us all. He sought Mab, and when she didn't grant his desire, he tricked her and stole it anyway. This is all his fault. Ah, <sighs> stay back. I can't hold it in any longer. Please, my locket is in the library. Find it before my mind is lost. Now go, be gone. Okay, mister. He's barely holding his anger down. I have to help him. We do, do we? Oh wow, he's like falling and he can't get up. All right, Greta, thanks for stopping by for the live stream. We'll see you next time. All right, so where am I supposed to go now, game? Apparently something is here. A frame fragment, all right. Let's put that there and see what's hidden in the frame. It's creepy. <laughs> what? That was weird. No, I won't let that future come to pass. Yeah, we're not gonna let that happen. No way. What have we got? We've got something else in here. A broken locket. I have to find a missing chain first. Or I'll make him angrier. Well, the dude's got to deal with his anger issues. Ah, uh, let's see. What ladder wheel is missing? So, we got this. We got some of this here. I've been studying Mab's hourglass for years, but it's only recently that I've successfully disassembled it. It's comprised of a glass casing and two prisms. The casing is filled with the golden sand mentioned in the Sandman legends. I believe it's the source of their powers. It was painstakingly it was painstaking, but I finally extracted the prisms. They seem innately magical as well. But my experiments must wait another day. I'm feeling feverish again today. Hubert spent years studying the properties of Mab's hourglass. It's probably what made him go crazy. Ooh, I have a wheel now. Back to the library we go. Ooh, a sword. Ah, uh, what's this here? The butterfly is hiding a secret. Okay. No such luck, though. We don't have that yet. Let's go back to the foyer. Give him his sword back. Here you go, buddy. Ooh, it's glitter. We now want the butterfly emblem. All right. And the good news is we know exactly where we have to put it, too. That is the good news. Got some nice music in the background. Looks like we need that piece there. And now we just need another couple pieces with like a pinky color on them. And one more piece to go. Now, where would you be? You're going to be some sort of purpley pinky. Ah, look like horns. You got it. Okay, thank you Artemis for on the helmet there. So we got to go back here and put the butterfly there and see what is coming out of that. Go butterfly, go! Another hidden note. 
Eric, my end draws near. Everything I did, I did for my family and the people of Montefleur. But I am alone. Should atone for my mistakes. Therefore, I beg of you, don't open this vial in my study. Take this locket, give it to me by my father. Make it remind you of our father, family values, hard work, honesty, and loyalty. My precious son, may you grow wiser than I ever could. I'm so proud of you. Baron Hubert de Montefleur. Okay. More good stuff going on here. There we are. Woo. Let's go give it back to the dude. Here's your family locket, mister. Thank you. My father gave me this locket. It's the only thing that keeps the beast within me sealed and my mind intact. You're welcome. Without it, the beast would have consumed my mind and will. I need them now, more than ever. This town knew nothing of my father's treachery. I alone should bear Mab's fury. Come, let's devise a plan in the gallery. Sure thing. He's calm now, but we should hurry before his rage takes hold. So, where are we going now? I think he said... Oh, the portrait gallery? Alright, fair enough. Our situation has worsened. But there still may be hope. So long as Mab's hourglass is incomplete, her powers are limited. Eric's right. I learned from the scrolls that Sandmen are only as powerful as the hourglass they wield. Two prisms are missing from Mab's hourglass. So long as they remain apart, she can't regain her full power. My father could have destroyed those prisms, but he coveted their power as well. However, thanks to him, I now know their location. We must find the prisms before Mab does. Don't worry, Eric. We'll never give up. Right, Detective? Let's use the town map to make a plan. If Mab finds those prisons first, we won't stand a chance. This has to work. Uh, put that there, and we'll put this over here. I'll meet up with Ruth and find the second prism. Detective, I'll leave Mab to you and Eric. Okay. We gotta place this stuff, do we? Uh... Put that there. I don't know where this goes. This goes over here. Where the heck does this go? Mab is using the factory to spread her sand throughout the city. If we can't stop it, every citizen will turn into a nightmare. Can't have that. Uh, let's see. I don't know where this flag's supposed to go. Hmm. Any ideas where the flag is supposed to go? Alright, Sarah, I guess we'll see you in next time. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Left us with the hard part. Oh, flag is right there. And then what's this? Detective, I need you to find the master key. It's the only way to safely shut down the machinery. It should be in the water control room above us. I'll meet you at the perfume store. Then we'll head for the factory. All right, sounds like a plan. Once we're inside, I'll distract Mab while you disable the machines. And we're good. May fortune smile upon us. You're welcome, beauty and beast. We'll catch up with you later. Miniature gears, that's gonna be for our little bug friend here. And you're golden. And now we have to go put that in the wall. Yeah. You belong there. Secret passageway. 
<laughs> All that for this rabbit thing? Wow. Oh no, we opened up the door. Good. Yeah, I'm crossing my fingers too for fortune and luck. This is the source of the garden's waterfall. New area, yay. I just saw you morph. What's our parable situation? Ooh, we got the perfect scent. Haha, <laughs> look at the bottle, that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and read this one. Parable number three, the perfect scent. Once upon a time, there lived a man named Hubert. Hubert was kind, modest, and loved by the people of his small town. Hubert was a perfume maker by trade. The most beautiful smells wafted from his home, but he vowed to create the perfect perfume that could please any nose. While searching for a rare flower, he stumbled upon an ancient garden full of wondrous plants he had never seen before. Within the garden stood a beautiful woman who outshined everything around him. Hubert gave her his most treasured perfume. But when Hubert saw the pouch of sand at her waist, he realized she was a sandman. He realized her sand was the ingredient he was searching for. He fought with himself, but his greed won out. He tripped Mab inside a perfume bottle and sealed it. With her dream sand powering his perfumes, everyone bought them. Hubert settled down next to the ancient garden and built an entire city with his wealth. The people admired him and adored his wondrous perfumes. And so the people lived in peace until the day that Hubert passed away. But that is another story. Alright. This is a nice waterfall here. Ooh, I'll put you there. And I'll put you there. Looked like there was a false bottom over there. It's shaped like a rabbit. Run, rabbit, run! I'd rather not get my fingers smashed by these cogs. Alright, forceps, you do it. And we also grab that master keyframe. Uh oh. I'm really sore, but at least I didn't break my neck falling from up there. I don't know, that seemed kind of dangerous. Alright, let's get into this. we got to figure out how to put together a master key mechanism and maybe have a little bit of corn on the cob. A little tasty treat there. I like to do my corn on the cob on the barbecue. You take the raw corn on the cob, you shuck it. You put some nice butter and some salt and pepper on there. You wrap up the tin foil, and shove it on the barbecue, and it's tasty. Ooh, strawberry. For all these feed, the food references are definitely not helping with my hunger. But yeah, that's eating is all in due time. Let's see what else do we have here. A couple more circly things. What looks like a bat? Where's the bat? I know, I'm making myself hungry. Yeah, it was kind of a wire slide, I suppose. And that goes here. No, it doesn't. Here. Master key mechanism, master key frame. Hmm. Fair enough. Birds are chirping. Hey, at least we're free now. We're outside. No, seriously, why won't you travel there? I'm already there, that's why. <laughs> uh, so what does that even mean? Oh, wow, something's up here. Okay. 
Maze emblem. Now we have a cool watch. We need that master key. Got this cool watch here. Hey, buddy. Did you find it? Yes, I did all your heavy lifting again. Excellent. Mab's still in the factory. Come, detective. Let's end this. Actually, Grace, what I usually do is uh, I just take a knife and a fork and I cut all the corn off. And I eat my corn on the cob that way because, yeah, I'm not a big fan of eating it right on the cob. Ooh, what's these crazy things over here? Uh, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. You're too late, mortals. The prism is mine. Rise, my nightmare champion. Must have used her prism to summon the giant nightmare creature. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? We're in deep trouble now. Alright, folks. Well, this is gonna do it. We're out of time. I know. Four and a half hour live stream, and it's time for us to take a break. We'll, of course. You know, see what's next in an upcoming session. I'm not sure if I'll end up just recording this or maybe I'll live stream it. I don't know, but uh, stay tuned.